Before you pull for the new character, Chaska, there are some important things you need to know. The release schedule for Chaska coincides or is very close to Wanderer's rerun in 5.2. Chaska is known to have a skill that allows her to fly. However, there is no confirmation yet on how she flies or how high she can fly. In Natlan, there's a phlogiston mechanism that allows skills to be used for a longer duration. This gives a particular advantage when using her skill in the Natlan region. But once she leaves from Natlan, phlogiston cannot be used, limiting the duration of her skill. In contrast, Wanderer can use his flying ability anywhere with the same duration, making him more versatile. However, it's also worth noting that in the new map released together with Chaska, there will likely be new mechanisms that require Chaska's skill. While it is possible to use Saurian in those areas instead, it would be more efficient to bring Chaska directly. Wanderer is a main DPS character with significant damage potential. On the other hand, Chaska's role is still unclear, and it's not known whether she will be a main DPS or support character. From what we know so far, Chaska uses a bow, and bow weapon is generally less popular compared to other weapon types. The hope is that Chaska's gameplay will revolve around utilizing her E skill and not focus too much on basic attacks. This way, even though she wields a bow, players won't need to rely heavily on basic bow attacks. This is just a suggestion, but if you already have Wanderer, you might want to consider pulling for Chaska, even if only at C0. If you've been aiming for C6 Wanderer, that should remain your priority, as C6 Wanderer is extremely worth it.